Nideria, Nideria is characterized by it. Nideria is a phylum. Okay, we have Nideria, which is a phylum. Now let's talk about Nideria and let's let's have some examples in our mind as well. Okay, so Nideria will have jellyfish. They have Nidarias will have sea anemones. Nidarias have another example which is sea anemone. Another example, sea anemone. Right now, let's talk about this. Another name for Nidaria is Celentrata, and let's talk about the features of Celentrata. Some of the characteristic feature here. Okay. So, silent nidarias have nidarias are also they have a true silom and we call them nidarians have a true silom and we call them silentron. Okay, and they are diploblastic. They are diploblastic with true with tissue level of body organization. Now they have some special features. They have some special features. Can you see Nidaria? Nidaria. So there's a special feature. There's a sting cell present, and the sting cell is known as they have needoblast. And this needoblast can also be known as you can call it. They can also be known as nematocyst. Nematocyst, or they can also be known as nematoblast. Okay, nematoblast. So here you can say nematoblasts are present, cilentron is present, and tissue level of body organization is also present in the phylum Nidaria, and thereby we can call them that all of the all of the features here mentioned are characterized in the phylum Nidaria. Cilentron, the cavity, therefore it is also known as cilentrata. So all of these are the features of the phylum Nidaria.